In fact, some of you are probably going nuts right now because you can't take a selfie. So I encourage you, everyone take out your phone for a second. Everyone take out your phone. And here's what I want you to do. Just take a selfie with the person next to you. Would you do that? Just take one right now. Just, just take a selfie. Okay, get it out of your system. Okay, just one. I know some of you guys are going crazy. <laughs> it's like, I... Did you get me? Wasn't it? Okay, good. You guys, what did we do? Sorry, my voice is gone from the week. But what did we do before selfies were invented? Do you remember those days? Man, I remember when I was a little kid, we would go to a waterfall, and you know what we used to do? We used to stare at the waterfall, and we used to admire the waterfall, and we would just look at it and say, wow, that is so beautiful. Nowadays, if you go to a waterfall, the first thing that goes through your mind is, I should take a picture of me. Me, and I'll have the little waterfall in the background. And it's become totally normal. Our first thought to take a picture of ourselves. You guys, the Bible says in 2 Timothy, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, it says this. Understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of selfies. Okay? They will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud. It's amazing to me that he says in the last days, <clears throat> the world is going to get really bad. Because, and here he's talking about in the church, in the church, people will become lovers of self. Is in the church, people will come in thinking about themselves. He goes, it's gonna get really bad in the last days. They're gonna be focused on self. You see, when I was a kid, we used to have this word called narcissism. Have you heard of that? So it used to be if you took a lot of pictures of yourself, we called that narcissism. Today we call it Facebook. It's normal. It's become normal for everyone to set up a page that's all about themselves. And we don't think anything of it. Well, of course, who else am I going to take pictures of? Who else am I going to post about me? You guys, the Bible warns that in the last days, it's going to creep into the church where people will think about themselves, they'll love themselves. I'm willing to bet that 90% of you at least came in this morning thinking about yourself, right? And you come to church, you think, where do I want to sit? Who do I want to sit with? I hope the speaker says something to me, and it's good to me. I hope they sing a song that I like. You came in, maybe some of you, in selfie mode, and you're just looking at yourself, and, and, and you're, maybe you came in because you, you, you're looking at yourself one day, and you're going, gosh, I've got some problems in life. And so you come into the church, and you start getting people, hey, come over here, look at me. Look at my issues. Come on, come here, look at me, help me. I need help. Look at me, look at me, look at me. And I know this because I've been a pastor for the last 30 years, and... I just want to say, back home, some of the most miserable people I know are the people who cannot get out of selfie mode. There are people in my church that come week after week, and no matter what I do for them, it's never enough. I can't please them. I've just, I give up. 
I'm not enough. I'll never be enough. No matter what I say, it's always, well, but look at how it makes me feel. Come over here, let's look at me. And let me tell you how I feel. And I just wanna say this morning, I think the best thing I can do for you today is, and the best thing the staff can do for you today at this gathering is there's a little button on your phone and if you push it, it takes it off of selfie mode and you can't even see yourself anymore. You can try to go, you know, you, you can't once it's off of selfie mode because I want to teach you that the secret to life, the secret of joy in Christ is to get off of selfie mode and actually look at someone better than yourself. To stare at, I know this is counterintuitive, that the best thing you can do for yourself is to get over yourself and stare at someone more beautiful than you. That's what David says in Psalm 27. He goes, God, this is just the one thing I want. I just, I just want to dwell in your house and I just want to stare. I just want to stare at your beauty. This is something that's been lost in this generation. We feel like we have to be in the center of every picture and then we wonder why we're unfulfilled. Because the secret to joy is pushing that button and you stare at God and you realize that in heaven right now, there's an amazing being. 